Let's take a look at how you can transfer your projects from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve for color grading. There are a few ways you can do this, but this is my personal favorite and arguably the most useful. The first method we're going to look at is using an XML or extensible markup language. You can use this method with various NLEs. Most nonlinear editing applications such as Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut and Avid don't like talking to each other. Unfortunately, you can't just open up a Premiere Pro sequence in Resolve. This is where XML files come in. An XML file is designed to store and transfer data. XMLs have no predefined tags and they separate information from presentation. This allows them to be readable in multiple applications. They are also readable by humans as well, so you can actually go into an XML document and see what it contains if necessary. XML files don't contain your actual source media, just the data of where they are and what you've done with them. When it comes to color grading, this should always be your last step. However, when using an XML, you have the option to bring back that sequence into your native editing application, such as Premiere Pro, if needed, after the color work is done. You will have to export a new XML from Resolve to do this, but it is a nice option to have. To export an XML file from Premiere Pro, here's what you do. Go to File, Export, and then Final Cut Pro XML. Don't worry about the Final Cut part, and choose where to save it. Your edit can include basic effects such as dissolves, but not more complex edits. If you have a very complicated timeline with lots of nested sequences, I'd advise exporting those nested sequences separately and re-importing them into your timeline as whole clips. I often scale clips and nest them when applying warp stabilizer. This kind of information isn't included in an XML file and so it won't translate to DaVinci Resolve. This is why I would recommend exporting them in a high quality lossless format and re-importing them into your project. Once in DaVinci Resolve, to import that XML, go to File, Import, Import XML Timeline. Check your settings. You should hopefully see your timeline now in DaVinci Resolve and you can start to work on color grading your footage. You can finish your project in DaVinci Resolve, exporting it from here. Or as I mentioned earlier, if you need to, you can export another Premiere Pro XML and bring that back into Premiere if needed. To do this, in the Deliver tab in Resolve, you will find Premiere Pro XML. And to re-import that XML back into Premiere, all you need to do is click on Import and go to Import Premiere Pro XML. Other ways you can do this process include using an EDL. An EDL is an edit decision list, which is a text document. These are kind of old fashioned now, but are often still used when sending projects to post-production and finishing houses. EDL files are very limited compared to XML files as they only understand one track of video and four tracks of audio. For this reason, I recommend duplicating your sequence and with the copy, flatten down your layer to just one track. This isn't always possible, I know. You may have to export multiple EDLs if you have a complicated timeline. Personally, if you're grading yourself, I'd recommend using an XML over an EDL. However, if you need to send your work to a finishing house for post-production, it's always best to ask and check what they will need. In the past, I've sent an external hard drive with the original source material, proxies, an EDL and XML. I've also included a lossless export of my final edit with effects and graphics for reference, as well as another copy without effects and graphics. This just gives them plenty of options. If you've done a really complex edit with lots of effects and graphics, sometimes the only option will be to export a lossless file from your editing software such as Premiere and use the scene cut detection in DaVinci Resolve to color grade the individual scenes. Something like a ProRes 444 file would be fine for this. As I mentioned before, if you're sending the project to someone else, it's always best to check what they need. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos on cinematography, color grading, and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.